In this video we're going to be updating the QX7 firmware and also how to stick the beta flight and crossfire Lua scripts on there. In the first uh, couple of videos we've done in this sort of series of videos um, it shows you how to do the um, signal inverter mod. Uh, if you haven't already done that um, you want to go back and watch some videos on how to do that. Also the beta flight set up and also how to wire the receiver into your flight controller. I'll put the links to them videos up there now. Once you've done that, come back and watch this, or if you've already done that, then carry on watching from now. So the first thing we're going to need to do is um, download a number of numerous bits and bobs. I'll put the links in the description, in the comments sort of box below. So we need to go to the OpenTX and download the SD card contents and OpenTX companion. So the first thing we'll do is we'll download the OpenTX Companion. We'll also download the QX7 SD card um, files. If we save all this to our desktop so it's easy to access later. I uh, don't want to be doing that. Shut these down. Okay, next we're going to go to the Beta Flight Lua script page. Um, I'm going to use, uh, I'm not going to use version 1 because I'm not sure how to set up them lures in that yet. They're set up differently. So I'm going to use this uh, beta version 0.3 beta flight setup and click that download. The only difference in that new version 1 is there's some extra commands and extra bits and bobs you can alter. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure. It's it's completely different layout how that all goes onto the SD card, so I'm going to leave that for now. Next, we need to download the firmware patch. This is the QX7 firmware patch. If you've tried doing this before and you're stuck, you can't scroll, this, is, this will be the reason why you need to use this firmware patch rather than the main firmware that you download through the companion so set that to download so we've got everything now just drag this up here well, we're using WinRAR if you don't have WinRAR you can use the default Windows 10 extraction um, but yeah I'll show you where you can get that from I, I rate WinRAR I like it it's, it's easy if you type in WinRAR Win free, it's this one here from rarlab.com. If you click that link, click whether you have 64-bit or 32-bit, download and install. Then right-click, and if you click Extract here, here it's just going to put a load of files on your desktop. If you click the next one down, Extract to the same as the file name, it'll extract it to a separate folder with the same name. So we're going to do that for all of these RAR files or zip files. And then we're going to get rid of these RAR files because we don't need them anymore. We'll move these back up here. And we need them later on. So first of all we're going to install OpenTX Companion. And just follow through the instructions. next and launch OpenTX. So now we've got that running we can get that deleted we don't need the install file anymore. Okay so once we're open we need to get into the radio so first thing you need to do is push these two trim um, things in towards the middle and press the center power button and you can see it comes up right firmware, restore, EEPROM or exit. Then we need the USB um, I think it's a micro, no, a mini. And plug that into the bottom there and then head back over to the PC. So now you know it's connected, it gives you access to the um, sort of firmware bin and also the SD card that's in there. But we don't need to be doing anything with this just yet, we'll leave that for later. So, first of all, we will do a uh, radio complete backup. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, it's just uh, a good rule of thumb to do this before anything. So I'm going to create a new file on the desktop, just call it uh, X7 full backup. 
hit save. Um, we can see we've got the backup file there now on the desktop. Uh, now, now we're going to write the firmware. So we're going to click write firmware, click load. We're going to search for the open TX X7 firmware patch. Click open. So we can see that's on there. And then hit write to TX. And that's done. So now we can click close. And right, we need to go over to the radio again. And we're going to we're going to disconnect the USB. We're going to scroll down to exit. Let it boot up. And then we're going to turn the radio back off and we're going to take the micro SD card out of the bottom. Uh, you can do this straight through your computer, um, but it just takes a lot longer. So if you've got a memory card reader, do it on your PC, it'll speed time up, speed up the process. So we're going to put that into the PC. Okay, so this is the SD card and what's stored on the SD card. So we're going to create a backup of this now as well. So just create a new folder on the desktop. We'll call it SD Backup. And then I'm going to drag the contents of the SD card into that SD Backup folder. Well, I'm going to cut and paste so that it deletes them at the same time. Let's speed this up a bit. Okay, now once we've done that, and close. Uh, we're going to open up the SD card to run it. So this is what um, the default SD card will look like. So we're going to copy that. We're going to paste that into the SD card now. We'll shut that down. Then we're going to go and open up the Betaflight setup Lua script folder or the middle folder that's in that group of three once this is finished. Okay, let's pop them on there now. So We'll open up the beta flight Lua script folder and you can just see it says scripts in there, which is here. So we'll double click on scripts and then we're going to copy both them files and paste them back in there. Okay, and we're going to close that down again. And next is the crossfire. So we'll open up the crossfire folder. I'm going to go back to the root of the SD card. As you can see, copy the crossfire folder and paste that in there as well. Okay, so that's the SD card all set up now, so we can take that back out of the computer and put it back into the radio. Okay, so we're going to power on the radio now. And we're going to go into, not this, uh, no, not this second. Sorry, press, it's single tap, press the page button until we go to page two and scroll to the left until we get up to the mode here, internal RF mode. Click on that, and we're going to turn that off. Make sure your crossfire is in the back of your radio. Then we're going to go to the external RF and go to mode and we want CRSF. Channel 1 to 16, you can use channel 1 to 8 if you want. It's entirely up to you. you. Might as well use the full 16 channels, even though we're never going to use them on a quad, but you might be flying a plane. I don't know. So next we're going to go into... We can find it. We want to have... Not the, um, custom scripts, not custom scripts. See, this is all different now. Now with this new update, I'm not entirely sure how that works. But we'll go to display. We're going to go to hit script, and then we want BF, and then we'll press page, hold, press and hold the page, press and hold the page again. And you see, when you go into this, I don't know why, but you can't select it. It's all different, and I think this is what that version one of the beta flight. Uh, Lewis script. Uh, I don't know how it all works yet, so I will do a video on that eventually and we can update it to the latest version. Um, next, just press the page button, uh, the menu button, 
sorry, press and hold, and then we can go page to SD card, select crossfire, press and hold on the crossfire lure, and then execute. And you can see we can see the XF. So if you slide down, these are the settings I've got for my crossfire micro. Yeah, and that's everything. Now you can bind up your, well, read and follow the instructions for Crossfire to bind the radio. It'll ask you to uh, bind the radio to the receiver. It'll ask you to update the receiver. So, yeah, just follow the instructions, and that's it. Done. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe and like. That would be brilliant. Any questions, uh, just pop them in the comments. Thank you.